<laughs> I looked at my ruler collection about uh, seven years ago, rulers and tape measures and such like that, and found a nice range of about 20 of them. I've since acquired about another 10, so I thought it'd be nice to have a second chance or a video or two about it. And uh, at the time I, switched, I finished that last talk seven years ago, there were two that I badly wanted. One I'd seen a picture of, and the other one I'd actually seen in handle, but for, and foolishly had, uh, hadn't bought it. This is the one I've got a picture of and still remains so much my big wants list. It's extraordinary. Have you ever seen a ruler like this before? It was found in Jaipur and it's used by tailors apparently in India. What? I'm not sure, but it's a wonderful looking thing, almost like a question mark when it goes the wrong way. Oh, well, sort of. So, a very bizarre one. And then the other one, which I badly wanted and I missed it, this was from oh, the MoMA, MoMA Shop, Museum of Modern, of Modern Art in New York. And it was called The Lucky Ruler. And a friend of mine, Steve Miller, very kindly made one for me at my request, which is very kind of him. So, this is it's a bit rough and ready, but. Um, it's a nice idea because it's 18 inch ruler, except if you measure it, it's only 17 inches long. Why is that? Well, if you start counting up 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, yes, it leaves out the 13. Unlucky. Like hotels leave out the 13th floor and stuff like that. So it's a nice little gentle idea, a joke of people who are a bit superstitious. Couldn't have 13 on a ruler or anything else. <laughs> Here's a very practical ruler which I found. It's called a plant ruler. There we are. Never used it because I don't do this sort of thing. But if you're planting holes to put in um, peas and vegetables and shrubs and things, it shows the distance you're supposed to have between them. So peas are supposed to be very close together. And potatoes are supposed to be a long way away in between the seas. And these are the holes you actually push through into the soil to lay your single seed. And it shows each of the distances you should have for well-prepared vegetable garden. So nice idea. Plant ruler. It's a good one. There's a lot of ones uh, which show history on the back. This is, it is a ruler, so it's got, uh, well, centimetres and half centimetres. And on this side, there's a bit of real-world history, because it's showing what they call it rather cleverly, rulers of the earth. <laughs> and it shows the major animals that have appeared in the in the world since 3,000 million years ago when the planet was first formed, right through to mankind and just before us, the dinosaurs and so on, of the Earth. A nice idea, this, and it's helpful for kids who are studying history, the whole world. The last one is another one from Steve's fertile mind. <laughs> this is really bizarre. It's called um, Light Femto Fortnite Ruler. And it shows today's date here, and it shows each day back to a week ago, and it shows each day forward to a week's time. So the whole thing is a fortnight. And what it's showing is the distance that light travels in a fortnight, uh, 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 divided by 10 to the power of 15. Ooh, how useful. <laughs>